just didn't know if y'all had, had run into that or had any discussions or, or better guidance on that. And just was trying to point that out to everybody that that is a part of it. There is a percentage calculation on that. It does need to be broken out. I'm, I'm going to get into how to account for the percentage. Okay, ask Greg. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I got ahead of you. No, that's fine. Um, again, this is done every month, and at the bottom you can see on the Excel spreadsheet that it, it, it's tabulated, so each month, and it populates, it carries the calculations over every month. Um, the department has received authorization from um, FHWA 12 or FHWA um, to apply the DBE trucking credit go back here, um, using a percentage of the fees and commissions associated with the hauling um, provided by non-DBE trucking companies, and they are counted to the match. Um, this is an example on how it is counted. Um, if you look at the trucking ledgers that I gave you earlier, I'm just going to use those examples. Um, as you see from the ABC trucking firm, um, the invoice total was $12,060, but the total DBE dollar credit was the $1920. The hauling for OBEs was $9,130, and the commissions was $1,010. So the total OBE, the way the department does it is, the DBE dollars, they match dollar for dollar for OBE. So the credit that they get is 1920 because that's the amount that the DBE actually hauled for that month. So they match it the 1920. Um, again, with the, and how they figure the commissions, it's also done on a percentage. So the 1920 represents 21% of the OBE dollars. The way they figure that 21% is if you take the 1920 for the DBE dollars and you divide it into the OBE dollars, it comes out to the 21%. How they match the commissions is to get that remainder to the 100%, they take the $1,010 in the commissions and they times it by the 79%, which is the difference from the 21 to make the 100 is 79. So that's how they get and you times it, and that's how they get $798 is what they match for OBE commissions. And again, you can always reference the compliance manual. It details the same example in the compliance workbook. Um, some of the ways that the RCS is, um, we verify a commercial useful function for contractors is by subcontracts, rental agreement, <coughs> these are items that we might ask you guys for backup documentation to support cover at DBE is delivery tickets, invoices, lease agreements, hauling tickets, um, the trucking certification, uh, daily trucking records, the trucking ledgers, um, canceled checks, bank records, uh, titles, registrations, any uh, mm -hmm. material supply agreements, payroll records, and these are just some of the items that we might ask for. Um, truckers, again, this is just a recap of kind of what, what Dennis and Phyllis have gone over. Um, truckers, they must be authorized on the project via subcontractor or rental agreement. Um, the EEO requirements apply for truckers over $10,000 or more. Um, certified payrolls apply to all truckers hauling within the project limits. Um, trucking observations and verifications will be conducted, not maybe, they will be, <laughs> um, at any time on any trucker, on-site or off-site calling, drop and goes. Um, and these are all ways that the department tries to capture the DBE credit. And again, the, the DBE truckers must be reported on a trucking, the trucking certification and also the payments go entered into the EOC system. So Dennis has handed out, along with Phyllis, uh, another trucking certification, and I just want to see if any of you guys can spot any of the errors. And if you find one, just call it out. <laughs> if you take a look at this uh, second yeah, trucking certification, circle some of the things that may be inconsistent yeah. with what Tracy is talking about, or what's on your original copy. <laughs> and while you're looking at that, just a couple things to keep in mind. This is what needs to match your monthly payments in EOC. This is what we're going to be looking for.